Hey, you, listen up. I got a story for you. It's for a lot of different people. Um, it's for those who have wandered off the beaten path, for those who have been led astray. I forgot everything I was taught and groomed to be. I forsook all that I had previously known and became open-minded and curious about the things that the world had to offer. I became a liar, a thief. As I continued to grow further and further into the world, I decided to stop going to church. I cut ties with my friends in the church, didn't respond to any of their texts or their calls, and I continued to dip myself further and further into what the world and sin had to offer me. I was in two car accidents within the span of 18 hours. And after they loaded me into the ambulance and got me finally to wake up for the first time, they started asking me all these questions and I couldn't answer any of them. Because at that moment in time, I had realized that I was losing my memory. I had lost who I was, I had lost where I was, and I had lost what I was doing. A couple of hours later, once my parents came to visit me, after I had been admitted to the hospital, when they walked into the room for the first time, my heart rate shot from 55 beats to 140 beats per minute. I was scared and confused. I thought to myself, who are these people? As people continued to visit me throughout that first 24 hours, it became more and more real that I had lost who I was. My memory was gone. Eight to nine years worth of my life were missing. Finally, my dad went to the Word of God and asked me if I remembered winning nationals when I was 12 years old. Couldn't remember ever Bible quizzing. But when my dad started quoting verses of the Bible, he would get a couple of words out, and I would finish every verse that he had started. You see, I had forgotten my parents. I had forgotten the people that had come to visit me. I had forgotten myself, even. The one thing God wouldn't allow me to forget was His Word. I went to preview weekend for Texas Bible College a couple months ago. I would continue to be blessed by TBC a couple months later when they would begin their annual corral tour after their school year is over. They just so happened to pick Shawnee, Oklahoma as one of their destinations for that year. Once they had come and sung for us, they got to a song called Your Blood written by Aaron and Amanda Crabb. Every single word I felt was meant for me in my time of struggle because that song reminded me that the blood of Jesus would be enough to heal me and to bring me out of my current situation. As they continued to sing that song, I broke down and I cried and I prayed and I worshiped God. Several of the young men came over to me and started praying for me. As I was praying and standing there asking God to heal me of my current situation, I remember snapping back and my body becoming rigid as if a spiritual entity had taken over my body and restored me in an instant. I remember coming back to a standing position with my eyes wide open and knowing that in an instant, God had healed me of my amnesia. God had restored all of my memories. God had given it all back to me. I had that period of five months of struggle and I had all of that eight to nine years worth of memory back. I remember searching for my father my grandmother and my sister, and telling them, I remember, I remember, I remember. God had performed a miracle in an instant that night, and he restored each and every one of my memories. God is awakening the wonder. I've never been more happy to serve and to profess the power of our Lord Jesus Christ.